okay today we are making the uh, canvas now this is a canvas we are doing it on a reverse side of the canvas in which i'll be teaching you some mixed media techniques and how to cover the canvas with the tissue paper and then how to give uh, these effect of the leaves and everything so this is an autumn uh, you know autumn style of a canvas and it's a reversible canvas you have to work on the back side of the canvas for this now for this we will need an 8 by 10 canvas and then we will need what you need is a simple tissue paper now this is a tissue paper which you get in the regular stationery shop and uh, you have to buy a little thicker one not the very thin one and cut it little bigger than your canvas now supposing your canvas is 8 by 10 so i have cut half the sheet of this tissue if it is big no problem then what you have to do is crush this whole tissue after crushing open it little bit and now start putting your decoupage glue you can use any decoupage glue matte or gloss you have to apply it with your brush now i am using this decoupage glue so apply it with a brush and you have to be really quick just start applying faster and put a little thick coat of it And after that you have to put the crushed paper on this and let the crushes be there that is the whole texture that is giving the full canvas so let the texture be there and in the middle if it even gets cut while putting no problem even anywhere else also if it gets cut don't worry that's a kind of an effect like this even on the sides okay. now take your paper and just put it on it and give pressure the more the wrinkles the better the effect to so try to fold the other and stick like this then what you have to do is take a scissor and cut little bit in the middle because somewhere you uh, the it will not stick and it won't be flat so just take the scissors cut it in the middle and stick on the sides like this and the center whatever is left out just stick that paper in the center even if it doesn't come in the center more it's fine like this
then stick whatever is the extra which is coming out or you feel there is no glue please stick everywhere then take uh, some glue on the sides and let this canvas go behind Sticking has to be very good. Don't leave anything because we are going to spray after this. Cut all the extras and then stick it. And then let this dry. I will complete this later. Now I will show you how the rest of the things which is there in the kit. You have to stick this to cages to make it little thick it should look like a chipboard so we are going to stick both of them and then color this with distress oxide if you don't have distress oxide you can color it with distress paints no problem and then you can give a little bit of chalk uh, paint on top of it to give it a distress paint effect like this also you have to stick your two sparrows the bird which is given and make it thick Take these two then you have to color this sparrow with uh, the co colors also you have to color the all these leaves with three colors with orange green and red so first take your orange and color like this on make it little dark then take your uh, red and color it then take the green and color it it should be like this uh, in multi colors after you finish doing one time you have to do it again to make it little dark so i have done it for the first time now i'm giving one more shade to it to make it little dark because it is distress ink so it dry you know the color dries it becomes fade so i am again redoing it little bit to make it dark after doing this some of the leaves we have to put UT now what is UT UT is a thick embossing powder ultra thick embossing powder I will show you how it looks so if you put that your leaves will shine like this like this it will shine so on some leaves we are going to do that and some leaves we are just going to emboss them so after finishing the coloring I will show you how we are going to put the UT it is called it is a danger product and it is called ultra thick embossing powder you cannot use your normal embossing powder but you need Varsha mark you need uh, the funnel tray for it 
and then you have to heat it now these leaves have to be more on in the orangish and reddish tone so make it little darker like these they have to be very dark now i'll show you how i'm coloring this with the oxides now i'm using two oxides here one is uh, the broken china oxide which was there in the first 12 set just apply it like this little bit to give it a vintage effect and then i'm taking the yellow and i'm going to put yellow only on some places don't mix both of your colors because your pad will get dirty now let this dry like this only this will after drying it will give you the vintage effect so now after this also dries i'll show you how to color it and everything for this now i'm going to use a normal marker pen and give it a give the eyes and everything use the thin marker pen so now i'm giving the eyes and just little bit of effect of the wings so like this i'm just coloring the bird like this and then i have to color it with little bit of yellow and red so now i'm giving yellow over here near the beak and the the head portion and then some orange which i will take down some brown any brown color and little bit of age mangani to give it a darker shade and some red and you can color of color any of the colors of your choice and take a thin brush and some water and color it now the first coloring will be little lighter then you have to give it after it dries little bit make it little dark like this then let this also dry 
Now after this dries, uh, we, we will continue how to do the spraying and everything. Now after this has dried, now we will spray this. Now you can use any sprays, Lindy sprays, Bloom or Distress sprays, any sprays. So now I'm going to spray on this with little bit of yellow. And then little green. You have to spray only in the center. If it goes little bit on the sides, it's fine. But I want more in the center. Like this. And then just spray very little water. And then just try to drip it everywhere. Now this will uh, be little lighter after some time. So now with the heat gun, I am going to heat tool and I am going to dry it completely. Now after this has dried, you have to take your brown color distress pad and then color on top of this. Now use your pad like this and then just go over it like this. Can you see the effect that it gives? It gives a very very nice effect. See. You can leave your canvas like this also. People who came for the workshop went mad seeing this effect. See this effect looks gorgeous. Try to do it on the sides also. Then I'm going to apply rust paste that is the Finaber new product rust paste on this. Can you see this effect? So now I'm going to use the rust paste. First uh, give it uh, with the lighter color. Apply it in some places. This dries very fast, so you have to be a little quick. And it is a thick paste. So if you don't have the rust paste, you can use a um, little bit of your acrylic paint and then put a little bit of sand paste in it. But that might change the color and make it dry. You need to try.
also do it on the sides because that is really very much visible Then we take another shade which is the brick shade and put it in some places. Make it dark. We need the background dark so that um, when these leaves come the autumn leaves this and that doesn't get camouflaged so we want this to be dark so what you do is now spray very little so everything starts blending There is no white on the canvas. Just mix everything. And then you can apply your brown color spray to give it a little darker effect. So don't do it in the center, only on the sides. Now let this dry. And after this dries, you can uh, put a little bit of the darker shade of the uh, stone paste, which is the brown or brown shade, and then you have to apply uh, some uh, wax, some golden and copper color wax. We will be applying, and then you have to arrange the center. Now for that, we will have to make the leaves. So now let this dry automatically. If you are using the Lindy sprays, it will give us shine. And if you are not using Lindy sprays, it will not give that much shine. So for that, you can use your uh, Inca Gold or you can use the waxes. Now I have already colored all these. We have to use ultra thick embossing powder. Now you have to start. Now after this has dried completely and I have done the embossing on these leaves. See oh, what you had to do for these leaves is take your Varsha mark, dab it and then put this uh, ultra, sound, ultra thick embossing powder and heat it. Repeat this process 2 or 3 times so this becomes little thick. 
then uh, you have to do all these on all these five pieces and then one I wanted a uh, wording so for on that I'm going to do one and then I'm um, uh, the rest of the leaves are just like that you need a thread which will be given in the kit to put it in the center like these now sometimes with this canvas you get these uh, these small pieces of wood which I have put behind and then I've done some stamping on this so you can put those and then put the leaves and then you have to put the uh, cage the bird and the uh, the chain and everything so now first we I will be putting some drops of black gesso so now this gives a effect like this then now after this is hot you have to put all with your glue gun I'm putting the thread in the middle and then put the leaves if you want you can emboss the leaves and if you want to leave it like that you can leave it just start putting the leaves don't press it too much down Now we will put these embossed ones. One or two below the plain ones to give it an effect. All these which you have done the embossing, the ultra thick ones should be on the top so that they are seen. like this then I'm going to put the cage which I've already colored and then I've attached the this comes on one side and the chain is there with the embellishment so just press it down like this here and the bird is on a two way tape and even this wordings you have to put it down put these embellishments what is given extra to you And the corner also is given to you. After this, you just have to use your wax, the uh, the metallic wax which is given, which, which you have. I mean, I'm not going to give it to you. Take any two or three colors. One is the golden for sure. Take a dry brush
and apply you can take your inca gold also that you have especially do it on this black so this gives a little kind of effect to it i think it won't be much visible on the camera but one once i finish i'll show you this is the wax that i'm applying That's the second color. That's it. So now my canvas is ready. Can you see this beautiful canvas? Hope you all liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.